If you don't, you get nothing. Join us or die. It's like Darth Vader to Luke Skywalker. I mean, it is in your face, gauntlet in your face, and we have the unbelievably powerful Copenhagen Treaty Addendum, where it states the third world has to make right at double the cuts the first world. See, they sold the third world. Oh, you don't have to make any cuts. Only America and Europe and England and Japan. Now they're going, oh, actually, you got to make double the cuts, and you've got to get IMF and World Bank loans from us now. This is total dictatorship. The EPA, a federal agency telling Congress, sit down and shut up, because under Presidential Decision Directive 51, signed by Bush, continued by Obama, it states the President and the Security Council runs everything for any economic reason, for any military reason, for any terror reason. And it says we are in command, and Congress can't even see the full text of PDD 51, Presidential Decision Directive 51, you can only see the cover sheet that says we are a dictatorship. This is a private, corporate, illegal, illegitimate takeover. But the police are just like the general public. The FBI are just like the general public. They don't know the three branches of government. All they know is their paycheck comes in and they go to the topless bar. All they know is their paycheck comes in and they go to the golf course. All they know is they do what they're told. They've got some petty power and they work for basically Ken Lay Madoff types that are in control of this. And this is how tyranny works. Unlimited. Once they drop the hammer in every case in history, they just steal everybody blind until everybody starts starving to death. And in the case of the globalists, they want you to starve to death. In the case of the globalists, they want you to die. You heard Lord Moncton break down the numbers. There's all the scientific studies that just the ethanol production, for environmental reasons, of, with crops, has doubled world food prices. You ain't seen nothing yet. This is a complete takeover. I'm going to say it again. This is a complete economic slash paramilitary because the minute you don't pay these taxes, the minute you try to get around them because you don't have the money to pay it, they are going to come arrest you. And if you resist, they're going to spray machine gun fire into your body and do high fives afterwards because they like to hunt. They've taken men's regular hunting instinct and their regular warfare instinct, and they've turned the predatory nature of men loose on their own species and their own people. This is it. Spies everywhere. They're setting up domestic CIA forces to set people up. Provocateurs. Criminals. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, this is the most hardcore criminal takeover you can imagine. They plan it to be as hot as Stalin, Mao, or Hitler. Do you understand? This is real. And this is only the beginning of the absolute total tyranny. The Dave Mustaine exclusive interview on the other side. We're on the march. The empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. We have a reporter joining us in the last 30 minutes of the show today from Copenhagen to give us their take from a British perspective. We have climatologist Tim Ball joining us in an hour. We'll have open phones next hour. Uh, I have several clips of other world leaders calling for global government that are new that we're going to be playing. That's coming up. We also have a clip of Call of Duty, the best-selling video game ever. It's made like $500 million in the first two weeks it's been out where it shows Russians carrying out a false flag attack to start World War III, just killing civilians. And people playing the game simulate being black ops, staging false flags. This is how everyone's just being bathed in evil and being desensitized to commit acts of murder. We are a society being mind-controlled. But again, here is the exclusive interview I did last week in Dallas, Texas, with Dave Mustaine, invited us up. To Dallas, uh, the founder of Megadeth, of course, formerly with Metallica, his uh, best-selling album out right now, Endgame. And uh, this is an exclusive for PrisonPlanet.tv viewers. We are live at PrisonPlanet.tv. And for all the radio listeners, you'll be able to, of course, hear the audio interview uh, with Dave Mustaine. This is posted in even higher quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. TV right now for members if you want to download it or save it. So here is the exclusive interview. We'll go to break and come back with the rest of it 
after break. But here it is, Dave Mustaine of Megadeth. Radio, but to be with you in person is even better. Thanks, Alex. Thanks for doing the interview. Yeah, I'm really happy to be talking to you. How's the tour going? Well, the tour's been going really great. Machine has a great band. Um, play them on my station, and, and uh, Suicide Silence is a new band that a lot of people are, are finding a lot of interest in. And, and um, the uh, guys in the opening band, uh, Arcadium, very interesting band too. I like the front man. He's very, very, very timid backstage when he gets out on stage he he really you know besides the fact he looks like he weighs about 80 pounds he, he really has got a great persona and i was surprised so i i think that band's gonna have some good things if he eats a couple of cheeseburgers you know Incredible reviews everywhere. I was in a coffee shop today and just opened up the Dallas Observer, and there were two just raving reviews saying it's one of your best albums ever and a really avant garde. What is the message of Endgame? Well, a lot of people thought that that was uh, signifying the end of my career because, you know, I've got.